Are you a fan of the new birthday collection? I've seen so many beautiful shades and I have to say that I'm truly in love. However, most of the pastel colors, they do not suit me and I feel like they normally wash me out so I had to stay away from them. But when I looked at the lookbook, you know, they sent this beautiful magazine uh, in one of my purchases and I was just so in love with the, the new collection. I think the colors and the styles, they're just so beautiful. It's really a shame that I can't wear most of these, but truly, truly in love. I think they definitely hit the spot. As everything Cezanne does, I feel like they always focus on the details and they do have many, many colors for everybody. This way, they will make sure that everyone is happy. They definitely had, ooh, French kiss. <laughs> they definitely had some neutrals as well but i ended up not getting many pieces because like i said most pastels they do not suit me and i did get a few things and i wanted to share with you guys so today i'm going to be reviewing theophile pants marcello top the mark coach and the flora hoops but i wanted to share what i'm going to be showing next time so just so you guys know i recorded an archives video with some strategies that I wanted to share with you guys. So this video will be live soon. I don't know if it's going to be before this one or after, but I just hope that you, you guys enjoy in case you're looking for some pieces in the archives. By the way, this knit I actually got in 2021 and I believe it should be available during the archives. So I really hope that this video, the one that I'm, I'm sharing soon, is going to be helpful. So next time when I see you guys, I'm going to be reviewing the Emile jumper in this beautiful shade, the Amans cardigan. So both are cardigans, but here's the difference in color. This one's more muted, which is definitely my favorite. And this is a little bit brighter. I also got one in camel and I will let you guys know which one I am keeping. I am trying the Lulu pants which are in knit, so I was really curious to try this. And I'm also going to be reviewing the Tomboy shirt, which I got maybe a couple of weeks ago and I should be reviewing now, but I ended up just choosing other pieces. So I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to give the thumbs up if you like this video. Hi guys, welcome to my channel, welcome back. If you have been here before, I am really excited about today's video because this is my favorite color. I feel like I should have, I should call myself the green lady instead of Milan New York because basically everything that I own is a shade of green. So today I am sharing the Marcello top and this is definitely a beautiful color. I really love this sage. It looks a lot like my Gaspard in sage. So it's not too bright as you can see. It definitely has a gray hue and i really like this shape so the shape and the shade i got mine in small which is my usual size this one is 100 percent cotton so very comfortable one thing that i wish they did was to have the shirt a little bit um shorter i feel like it's slightly too long for me but if you are taller then that's a good thing for you i guess you can still tuck it in so it's not a big deal i just prefer that my tops my tank tops are a little bit shorter so it is this ribbed um style you can see it's very comfortable it's actually 97 percent cotton and three percent el elastane so very comfortable and really you know stretchy so if you are more busty you can still fit in this without a problem it's really cute i think it would be super cute for summer and you know if you want to layer or if you just want to put a cardigan on the top it's a really nice top and a really nice staple piece to have you know they have this in so many colors so definitely something that i would highly recommend the next piece i tried to get when they launched but it was gone so quickly and then they had a restock of the theophile but it was gone again <laughs> so this one was a really hard i had a hard time to get but finally i scored one and i got this one in size 4 or 36 which I can say is my usual size for pants, says that I'm always in between four and six. So if you've seen my other reviews, you know that sometimes a four works better and sometimes a six is better. For this one, 
I think the color is just everything. I know this is not the most versatile color for everybody, but for me, in my wardrobe, I think this would make a lot of sense because I do have so many pieces in green. And also this one, it has those specks. So you can see some colors. Like, this is so cute. It's like some confetti. It's really cute. I am going to tell you guys what the composition is. It does say that's dry clean, so I don't know if you can actually wash this. It says 70% wool, 25% polyester, 4% polyamide, and 1% acrylic. And the lining is 100% viscose. So the lining is really um, soft and it's not scratchy at all. Sometimes even with the lining, wool pants, it can be really, really scratchy. But this one is super comfortable. It's also comfortable on this area too, which I really like. I can say that it does fit me, but it's a little bit snug on my waist. I feel like the size six would be too big and I would have to take in the waist. This is how it is on the inside. And the lining is right here. So I like that they did this because the lining go up, goes up to here, which means you can take um, like a lot in, like a lot of the, the hem. So I really like them. Like I said, I feel like they're a little bit snug on my waist, but this feels like it's going to stretch as you wear. So just something to keep in mind, if you have the measurements similar to mine, but you're a little bit bigger, then I would get, get the six. If it's the same or smaller, then you can definitely stick to the four, and I think it's going to be just fine. I love the length, actually. This one somehow wasn't too, too long. It is definitely long, like most trousers. Some stores, they offer um, different sizing, like petite, the regular, and also tall, but Cezanne just has one size, and then you're supposed to do your own thing and just make it smaller if you need. So, I wish they just would offer you know more sizes in the future i think it would be nice and yeah so the pins are really nice i like them i love them actually it does crease a bit so when you wear you would notice that it has those creases i don't know if you can tell from this but it does it seems like it's going to crease very easily which is something to keep in mind for sure but it's a nice fabric. I think it's a great fit. It's the first time I'm trying these. I actually have the Lulu trousers. I have Martin trousers and a few others like the Chuck ones. I keep remember which other ones, the, the Matthew pants, which I love and I'm going to be, I might get the khaki one to try. And I really love this one. I had never tried before, so I'm excited about it. I'm still deciding if I'm gonna keep keep this or not. I have really to think because I got a few things from the archives, which I'm going to be sharing soon, but I will let you guys know how it goes. Now, the next item I want to review today is this gorgeous, gorgeous coat over here, and also green. So if you look at them at the same time, you can see it's about the same shade, and I love that about Cezanne. They always do pieces that coordinate and that, that makes it really hard for our pocket because you might just buy everything because they match. So the coat is really cozy. It's not a, a super warm coat. I have the Medric and if you haven't seen my review on it, I'll be linking here so you can see the Medric coat by Cezanne and the curated coat, which is also 100% wool. So this one is not 100% wool. And this one has the lining. So on the front, when you when you see this area, you will see that it's double faced. But then, so this part is actually thicker. But then when it gets to this area, because of the lining, this part will be, of course, thinner. So it's not a winter coat, and I feel like it will be great for spring, especially because of the color, or an early fall but not much more than that. It's 65% wool, which is a good amount of wool actually for what it is. 20% polyamide, 10% mohair, and 5% acrylic. And the lining is 50% acetate, acetate and 50% viscose. So my thoughts on the coat are, first of all, the color is stunning. I really like the feel. I know this is not for everyone because you will feel like this hairy, you know fuzzy thing so i don't feel like everyone likes that but it's actually soft to the touch it doesn't really bother me i got mine in my usual size actually it's the 36 or 4 us 
and the Madrid I actually sized down so for this one I decided to get my usual size and I actually really like it I think it's perfect it's slightly oversized and I like the way it is so it has this detail on the sleeve it comes with the loops and a belt that of course you can remove if you want but I really like the belt personally I think it makes it really flattering I love how they did the pockets for this one it has like on the side so sometimes you have those square pockets which are really cool but this one is really nice and I think what I like the most about this one is the the neck like this color here it's just it's more massive you know it has this nice statement color which I think it's so beautiful I love the color I am really tempted to keep this one but I am a little bit unsure because I just got Medric and I feel like the price point is just so high Medric I had a gift card from a client my student's mom and then I decided to use on Medric so I paid like half of it and used the credit for for the the coat like the the gift card for the coat so it didn't feel like so much but this one comes to almost $500 and i don't feel like i'm not gonna say it's not worth because this is really personal like it can be different for, from each of us but it does feel a little bit steep like here in the us it's 440 plus tax so we're talking about 480 dollars it's almost 500 dollars for a coach that's not 100 percent wool so i really need to think but the coat is beautiful i think it's warm enough for in early spring and early fall um, but yeah, it's a beautiful coach and I highly recommend if you like the color and the style They also have this in houndstooth. So really adorable and the last item that I want to review is this beautiful pair of earrings Are you surprised that I didn't get the green ones? <laughs> uh, I just felt like the blush were really special So it comes like in this super cute uh, little pouch, which I love this one is the color blush so my overall thoughts on these first of all they're very unique i think they are adorable i really like the color i think they're actually more neutral than i thought which is kind of cool because i thought they were going to be more on the pink side but they're kind of more neutral I'll put against the green so you guys can see um, the gold is very yellow so it's something to keep in mind in case you don't love yellow gold like it's more it feels like more of, of a vintage kind of gold so here it is it's easy to put on and off looks like this so it's really cute i just feel like this kind of weighs a bit on my ear i'm just not so used to it so you see like this is my normal ear and this is with the earring so i don't really wear that kind of earring a lot but i really wanted to see like in person and try so they're really beautiful and i love the green ones too i think they're so feminine and so gorgeous i don't know if i should keep or not I, I just don't know if i'm going to wear because of this can you guys see like how it put pulls my ear like down like i wish you know it was like this <laughs> but anyways and you can remove this as well i mean there's no point because the beauty of the earring is actually this part but you can remove and just wear like this which is cool you know in case you want to add this somewhere else like could you maybe do on your necklace i don't know you can put any way you want really it's yours if you buy it's yours <laughs> anyways they're super cute they're not gold of course and here in the united states it's 90 dollars i believe something around that so definitely something <laughs> to consider like to think about because the prices they can be really high so definitely get pieces that you're going to wear a lot and that makes sense to your wardrobe so this is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed i shared in the beginning of it what i'm going to be showing next week there is archives video coming up soon and i'm also going to share the video on how to get pieces from the archive so stay tuned because i'm going to share these and i think it's going to be really good especially if you didn't score anything in your last purchase i know the archives can be really frustrated so i made this video especially for you that had a hard time with the first experience so i really hope this will be helpful 
Thank you so much for watching. Let me know which ones you guys like the most from this video, this haul. I am very excited about the upcoming video. So if you're not subscribed yet, just make sure you do so. And I'll see you in my next one. Thank you so much and have a lovely day. Bye.